Were there any words that you heard in the sessions today in the conference that really stood out to you? Or maybe you have a one word from 2021. Let's take those words and let's make some fun, inspiring images in Procreate to help us to de-stress or take our mind off all the stressful things from this past year. So pick any word that you want and let's head over to Procreate. What we're going to try to create is maybe something like this image. Um, you can use any word that you want. Your image can be your image. It doesn't have to be like this at all. But um, this is what we're going to try to create, kind of this three-dimensional look, um, this texturing to our letters so that they kind of look like textured paper maybe. And I love the bokeh effect in the... Um, in the Impact Education Conference logo. So we're gonna to try to create that kind of that bokeh light effect with some of the brushes in Procreate as well to kind of fill the border around our word. All right, so let's try it. I'm gonna tap back on gallery and I'm gonna tap on the plus up in the top right to create a new canvas. And I'm just gonna go with screen size. A Procreate is a really powerful app. We're only gonna use maybe um, five percent or less of its capability for this uh, project so there's a lot more to procreate than what we'll cover all right so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the layers um, right up here at the top and you can see right now there's a plain white um, background and we're going to leave that plain white background and we're gonna fill layer one with kind of a darker color that's gonna be kind of at the bottom of our stack of layers or in the background, if you will. But we'll, we'll just ignore that background layer that's right there and not use it. So I'm gonna tap up here in the top right on this color spot and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use the colors from the Impact Education Conference logo. Feel free to use whatever colors that you would like to use. So I'm just gonna grab this and drag it around to find the color that I like here on the color disc. And then I can use this little tool on the inside to kind of make that lighter or darker or um, whatever I want it to be. So I'm gonna go with kind of a bright blue um, for my background. And I'm just going to tap back out on the canvas and I'm gonna drag that color spot out to fill up the canvas, all right? Now I'm going to go back to the layers. I'm going to tap on the plus to add a new layer and the new layer is always going to be on top of the layer that you're on. So right now we're on layer one. So I'll tap on the plus and now we're on layer two. And I'm going to choose, this will be like kind of our border um, or a page color. So I'm going to choose something light for this. So I'm going to tap back here on the color spot and um, I might go with um, a light pink or a light gray, something kind of light colored. All right, once you figure out your color, then what you want to do is just drag that color out into the canvas area so that it fills up that layer. All right, now we're going to go over to the wrench and we're going to add our word to this layer. So let's go to the wrench. And under the Add button, we are going to add some text. Um, this could be any word that you want it to be. So whatever word you maybe took away from a session in the conference or maybe your one word for 2021. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go with Impact. Oops, forgot to change the text color so that we can see it. Um, so I'm going to change this from pink up here on the color spot so that it shows up on the pink background. I'll just make it this dark blue. All right, and now I'm gonna type my word in there, impact. And I'll double tap in that text box to select everything. Right now I can see um, some of these font selection tools up here, but there are more um, controls here under the text editing button. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap here on this text editing button to bring up the rest of those controls. All right, I'm going to, down here at the bottom, I'm gonna to toggle on all caps so that all my letters are capitalized. And I'm just gonna choose a font over here on the left side 
Um, you, you can explore these and decide which ones you want to use. If you like the, the fonts, I'm going to go with Giza Pro for right now, and I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm going to make it larger. Now, depending on your word and how long it is, um, we'll determine how big you can make it. And um, I can adjust this text box. I'll just tap on done and tap back out here and tap cancel on that. Um, tap back on your word and then just pull out these handles on the side so that you can make your text larger. All right, I'm going to keep that dark color font. I'm going to tap back in here to select it all and tap back on the text editing again. And I am also going to, I'm going to make sure this is bold and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Somewhere around 200 is what you're looking for for this project. And then I'm going to, going to change the tracking a little bit. Tracking is just the amount of space in between your letters. So I'm just going to spread these out just a little bit more. Somewhere around 4% is good. It'd be tricky to get it at 4. I'm going to leave it at 6 since that's what it wants to be. And I'll tap done. And then I'll just make this a little bit wider again. With these handles and I'll put it back kind of there toward the middle. And it looks like autocorrect took my C away or something happened to it. All right. So I'll get rid of my keyboard and I'll pinch on my screen to bring this back up to fill the screen. There we go. All right. Now we've got our word and we are ready to start filling in those different colors in the letter that you saw. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to tap up on our layers. And we're going to tap right in where um, we wrote our word. We're going to tap that little thumbnail. So tap right on the A. And once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on select. And then down at the bottom, we're going to tap on invert. So right now, all of our little slanted lines are filling up kind of that light colored space. We're going to tap invert. And then if you look really closely, what you'll see is your slanted lines or your selection is now inside of each of those letters. And if your font's kind of dark, it's okay. Um, it might be a little tricky to see that um, slanted line. If you've got a really dark color ink for your word, but it's totally okay um, because those lines are in there if you tapped on it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to go back up to our layers. And we're going to tap on layer two, tap on the thumbnail, and we're going to tap on mask. So that creates a layer mask for us, which will allow us to kind of see through those uh, letters, if you will, to see the colors that we're going to put behind them. So now we can turn off our text, just uncheck that little checkbox on the side. And now we're seeing kind of that bright dark blue that I put in the background. So it kind of took out the fill out of the letters to allow us to see through. All right, now we're gonna fill in our top, um, our top color of our letters. So we're gonna tap on layer one and we're going to add a new layer above this. So tap on the plus, that's going to create layer five right above this for us. Um, we're gonna pick a color up here from our color spot to fill in the top of our our word, um, maybe I'm just going to pick three colors for this word um, instead of four, like that other example I had. So um, I'm going to start with kind of a light, bright blue. Again, I'm kind of looking at the Impact Education Conference colors, and I see some bright blue colors up in the logo, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust my size a little bit um, and I'm actually going to change my brush because I have a, a different brush on here than I want to use. So I'll tap on the brushes and I'm going to go to the inking category and I'm just going to choose, choose the studio pen. All right. 
Awesome. Now I'm going to adjust my size over here on the left. Somewhere around 30% is probably good for this brush. If you chose a different brush, um, just choose a size so that you can draw a line, but it won't fill up the whole space. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw across the word impact. Um, I'm going to uncheck the selection tool up here. And I'm just going to make a wiggly kind of line. Um, again, I want to have three colors, so I'll try to stay somewhere in the top third of the letters. Now I'm going to go back to layers. I'm going to turn off layer two so that I can see my line. I'm going to tap out here, and I'm going to close up the space. I'm just going to make a shape by connecting the right side to the left side. And I'm going to drag this blue in to fill up that shape. All right, my wiggly line looks like, uh, it looks a little rough. Um, my stylus must have stuck on the screen a little bit. If you're using an Apple Pencil, you probably have a lot of control over your, your lines as you're drawing. If you're using your finger or um, kind of a rubber tip stylus, it might stick a little bit on your screen sometimes. So I'm just gonna smooth that up a little bit so it looks a little bit better. Now I'm going back to the layers. I'm going to turn layer two back on so I can see that the letters there in my word. All right, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to add another layer. So tap back on layer one, tap on the plus to add a new layer above this, which should be layer six. And we're going to choose a different color. So again, I'm kind of thinking about the colors I see in the impact education graphic. I'm going to go with kind of um, this pink. Well, actually, my other colors kind of that same pink. So I'll go with this lipstick kind of pink color. All right. And again, I'm just going to draw a wiggly line. Um, I'm going to tap back up here and make sure I still have my pink. I held my pen down too long there and it trying to change colors for me. All right, just drawing a wiggly line across and I'm gonna go back to the layers, turn off layer two and connect the right side to the left side so that it's a closed shape. And then drag your color in to fill up that space. And then go back to your layers and turn layer two back on all right, and I think I'm going to keep that blue down there at the bottom. I said I was only going to go with three layers here, three colors. So that is good. And now we've got three distinct colors down there um, in our letter. All right. So next thing is that we are going to kind of make a shadow um, in between these colors. Just so it looks like, kind of like this is maybe paper in a, a different sheet of paper for each different color there in a stack on those letters, okay? So let's go back and we're going to tap on layer 5, which is our first color at the top of our letter. And we're going to add some black underneath that. So let's tap on the color spot. Um, you can double tap in here on black, or if you've got a color palette, you can choose black. Um, that way you'll know that it's not kind of gray. If you've double tapped it, it should select black for you. And now what I'm going to do is go back to layers, make sure I'm on layer number five, tap on the little thumbnail, tap on select. Now we see those little slanted lines, so it's selecting the space other than, for me, the bright blue, whatever your top color is. Tap back on layers. Tap on layer six, and we're gonna put a new layer above layer six, so in between five and six. So tap the plus. All right, now tap the little thumbnail for layer number seven there, and we're gonna tap on fill layer. All right, so that should create a little black shadow that looks exactly the same as your, your color shape. All right, we're gonna repeat this process for our next layer. So go to layer number six. I'm going to tap the little thumbnail, tap select. Now I see my slanted lines going back to layers. I'm going to go to the layer below six and add a new layer. 
And now when I tap in that thumbnail and I tap fill layer, it's going to fill in my little um, black shadow that looks exactly like my magenta pink kind of shape there. All right, so now I have those little shadows and that should help me to make it look like those are different layers. All right, so let's do that next. We're going to tap on layer seven. And now we're going to tap on the transform tool, which is this little arrow. And we're going to pull this grid um, down a little bit. What we're actually doing is pulling that black shadow layer down. So um, just pull it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be a whole lot of it showing out of out from underneath there. Um, so that's like a whole bunch right there, way too much. So just kind of ease it back in and um, you can make it however thick you want. And it can be different from the left to the right. I feel a little bit like Bob Ross here as I'm adjusting this and making it my own. Okay, next um, we're gonna tap on the magic wand up here so that we can adjust our, our shadow there. And we're gonna tap on the Gaussian blur. And then just drag your Apple Pencil or your stylus or your finger from the left side um, to the right. Um, right up there in the top, you can see right now it says it's about 10%. That's actually what we want, so awesome. And you'll notice what that did is it just made it softer. Made that black shadow softer, so it's not that hard, sharp edge now. Okay, let's go back to the layers. Tap back on layer 7, and we are going to tap on the N. Right now it's in normal blend mode, so it's not blending with the colors underneath it. We're going to change this to be multiply so that it does blend with the colors underneath it and then we're also going to lower the opacity so let's put this down to about 50 percent somewhere in there all right so you can see now it even made that shadow a little bit softer there um, and maybe i should have made it bigger for that shadow it's actually kind of small but it'll work okay we're going to repeat that with our other shadow. So again, go to layer um, number eight, go to the transform tool, the arrow, and drag, just drag on this little grid. You're dragging out the black layer underneath there. You're just dragging it down so that you can see it. Again, you can decide how big you want this to be. Um, I'm going to go with that right there. Then tap the magic wand. And Gaussian Blur, we're going to soften that up. So drag from left to right to about 10% or so. It's probably good right there. Then go back to your layers. Um, tap back on that layer, layer 8. Right now it's in normal blend mode. Again, we're going to make that multiply. So it kind of mixes with the colors beneath it. And we're going to lower the opacity to 50%. Somewhere in that range. So just kind of soften up that shadow a little bit. Okay, next we're going to add some texture. Um, right now, if I tap on this, again, I've got some shadows in there, but it still kind of like blends together into one shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some texture here. So I'm just going to pinch on the screen to again kind of return that to full screen there for the canvas. I'm going to go back to layers. I'm going to tap on layer number five, whatever your top color is in your letters. And now I'm going to tap on the plus to add another layer. So this is our uh, ninth layer. I'm going to tap on the thumbnail and tap on clipping mask. What this is going to do is let me kind of like color over that bright blue for me without like getting that coloring or shading all over my whole page. So on this layer nine, I'm going to tap back up here on the color spot and I'm going to choose uh, a dark color, but maybe not something that's totally black. Um, I might go with this kind of blue steel sort of color here. And then what I'm going to do is go to my brushes and I'm going to go to the charcoals brushes and carbon stick. Now you can explore any of these. 
it's just going to add some texture to that area of the letter. Over on the left side, I'm going to see if I need to adjust my size. I'm going to put this somewhere in between 30 to 35 percent, just so I have a really nice large texture that I can apply on here. And then what I'm going to do is just lightly drag my stylus across the screen from left to right across each of those colors. And you can see what that did is it really gave kind of this texture look to that color. So really kind of a cool effect. Now we're going to go back to our layer and we're going to change this from normal to multiply again so that it sort of blends with that color underneath. And we're going to lower the opacity a little bit um, just to soften up that effect. Somewhere around 70% is great. Okay, now we're going to repeat that on our other colored layer. So we'll go down for me to layer 6, whatever your next color is. And we're going to add a new layer above that. So tap your plus. And then we're going to tap on the little thumbnail for layer 10 and add the clipping mask. So tap clipping mask. And again, now we're going to drag our stylus or our Apple Pencil or a finger across that next color. So for me, it's this lipstick magenta sort of color. So left to right again, across the color. I'm going to go back to layers. I'm going to click back or tap back into that layer. I'm going to change it back from normal blend mode to multiply and lower the opacity down by moving that slider over somewhere around 70%. Okay, and then we're going to do that uh, with our last layer, so actually layer one, um, the bottom color of your letters. Tap on layer one, tap on the plus to add a new layer, tap into that thumbnail for that new layer, so layer 11, and tap on clipping mask. And again, now just dragging your stylus, apple pencil, or finger across the letter from left to right, across that color going back to layers, tapping back into layer 11, changing this to multiply again, and lowering the opacity to somewhere around 70%. All right, now if we tap back on our canvas and we zoom in on those letters, we can really see that all three of our, our color layers have that texturized look to it. It looks a little bit more like a, a fancier paper, um, something that has uh, some texture to it. All right, I'm going to pinch on my screen to bring that canvas back to fill up the screen. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to create kind of a paper cutout effect to really try to add some more three dimension to these letters and maybe make it look like they're um, receding into the paper or popping out of the paper, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead and try to do that. So we're going to tap back on layers. We're going to tap on our text layer mask layer. So whatever your word was, not the actual layer with your word on it, but the layer that has your word in the thumbnail and then also says layer mask. That's the one we want to be on. And then you're going to tap the little thumbnail there and you're going to tap on select in that. All right, um, again, what you should see then are those slanted lines kind of filling in those colored layers inside of your layers, inside of your letters, rather. All right, we're going to tap back up on our layers, and we are going to add another layer. So let's go ahead and tap on layer number nine. And we're going to tap on the plus to add a new layer. So this layer is kind of underneath our, our paper border layer, if you will. All right. Now in this layer, we're going to change our ink color to black. So just double tap in the black area. And we're going to go back to layers. And we're going to tap in the thumbnail of our layer 12. And we're going to fill this layer. All right, and so again, you should see kind of that masking of our word, whatever your word is in there. All right, and you'll see that in the little thumbnail. Um, so again, it's a layer underneath of your uh, kind of paper border that you're looking at. In my case, it's pink. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to tap back on our canvas, close up those layers. We're gonna zoom out uh, some more, so kind of pinch in so that your, your colored area, your canvas isn't filling the whole screen any longer. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to tap on the transform tool the little arrow up here at the top and then you're going to tap with your apple pencil your finger your stylus um, five times over on the right side of the screen so somewhere out here in this border area and you can see what kind of happened there is now we can see more of the black border along the top here so we're actually kind of shifting that black layer that's underneath this top layer to the right Next, we're gonna go down here and you may need to zoom just a little bit more, so pinch a little more. And we're gonna tap five times down here in the bottom. And now you can see that is revealing more of that layer. So we're kind of sliding that layer into this opening. So we can see kind of the black along the, the left edge and across the top right edge of each one of our letters. We're going to tap on our transform tool to turn that off so that we don't accidentally move anything. We're going to tap on our magic wand and we're going to soften that black area up again um, so it's not quite as crisp and as sharp as what it is. So first we're going to go with motion blur and then we're going to drag our finger stylus um, or um, Apple Pencil, kind of at a 45 degree downward toward the bottom right. And up there in the top middle, you should see it says a percentage. And we're looking for 15% there, somewhere around 15%. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pinch on my screen here to kind of fill my my screen with the canvas again you can see that sort of softened up that that shadow that black edge on the side there um, we're going to go back to our magic wand again and we are going to choose the gaussian blur and here again we want to go to about 10 percent so drag your finger apple pencil or stylus left to right uh, until you get about to 10 percent All right, now if you zoom in on your letters, you can see that they look a lot more three-dimensional than what they did when we first started making them, and they were just uh, flat colors, right? They've got the texturizing. They also have that shadow kind of on the top and the left side to make them look a little bit more like they're popping up out of the paper or receding down into the paper, kind of a paper cutout effect to make them look a bit more three-dimensional. All right, let's go ahead and tap on the magic wand again to turn off the adjustments. And to wrap up this uh, one word um, image, let's go ahead and add those bokeh light effects uh, around the outside of this, similar to what we see in the Impact Education Conference logo. So I'm going to tap back on brushes and under the luminance category, I'm going to choose the bokeh lights. And then I'm just going to tap up in the color spot, and again, I'm going to select uh, a color um, similar to what I see in the Impact Education Conference logo. So I'll just go with kind of um, a bright blue there. And over on the left side, I can use the slider to adjust the size of my brush, so adjusting the size of the bokeh lights. And I'm going to go back to layers, and I'm going to go up to the top um, to... Uh, where I have my actual word and I'm going to add a layer above this and then I'll tap back on the canvas and I'm just going to slide my um, my stylus around um, and kind of create some of these bokeh lights and then I'll adjust the size and I'm, I can even I can even adjust that slider um, while I'm sliding my stylus around so kind of moving that as I go, just sort of uh, alternating back and forth between large and small, and I can change the color. I can add in a more purplish color. Again, maybe some smaller ones. 
uh, maybe some larger bokeh effects, and just sort of sprinkle those around. Sometimes it's uh, so fun to do these bokeh lights, it's it's difficult to know when to stop, um, when you have too many, um, too much of a good thing, right, might uh, ruin the effect. So you'll have to decide when you feel like you have enough, um, what colors uh, you want to throw in there as you're making these bokeh lights and kind of just adding a little highlight to your image. And when you feel like you have all those bokeh lights in there that, that you'd like, then uh, what we can do is we can export out this image so that we can share it on social media. So we can go back over to the wrench icon up in the toolbar at the top left. We're going to go to share and we could export this as a JPEG or a PNG, maybe depending on where you're going to share it to. I'm going to select PNG and it's just going to export that image out into a PNG from the Procreate format, and I'm going to save this image to my Photos app or my camera roll so that I can maybe share it out via Twitter later. So now I have that image in my camera roll, and um, however I want to share that, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, I can go there to my Photos app and, and share that photo out through those various apps. All right, I hope you had fun uh, making your one word. Uh, I'd love to see your one word shared out. So share out your one word with the hashtag ImpactEDU, and I look forward to seeing what you created. Thanks.